Well, President Obama taking on not only health care reform, but another controversial issue, immigration reform. And a key meeting at the White House tomorrow could be the first step toward that reform and for some very big changes for every American worker. Senators Chuck Schumer and Lindsey Graham, bipartisan that is, set to sit down with President Obama tomorrow discussing plans for a national identification card. Now, this thing is meant to crack down on illegal workers, but our next guest says it could crack down on you and your privacy. Congressman Ron Paul is a Texas Republican. He's opposed to this card. Congressman, afternoon to you. Good afternoon. Nice to be with you. It's a great pleasure to have you. All right, so what's the problem with the national ID card? Because its proponents say this is it. This is the thing that's going to finally help us stop illegal immigrants from coming in here and taking jobs. Well, we do have a problem with illegal immigration, but I would say the problems of every American citizen carrying their papers for wherever they go is a much worse problem than illegal immigration. Besides, you can take care of illegal immigration otherwise. But people over this decades now in, in this country, there have been some who have wanted this national ID card, and they're looking for every opportunity to do it. And this is it. I mean, who knows what will come of it. My guess is they'll probably have a GPS chip in there so that they can measure everybody, every instant, no matter where they go. So to me, it violates the whole principles of privacy, the principles of the Constitution, the principles of the Republic, and to me, as a uh, gross distortion of what we should be doing. It's part of an authoritarian society, and uh, dictatorships have this, but not a, 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 a republic. We're okay, but, but tell me how. Tell me how it's invasive, because what, what Schumer and Graham are proposing, uh, according to what I read, is uh, your ID card would have either your fingerprint, your thumbprint on there, or it would have a, a reading of the veins in the back of your hand, and you'd have to be scanned by your prospective employer, and that way, if you know, if it came up that you weren't legal, they would they would catch you uh, by by the scan. How does that? I mean, it's not really GPS with the government following you. How does the scan well, of your fingerprint? Bother you. Well, some, someday it, it may do this, but why should you have to do this? Uh, and they said, well, the equipment to scan your hand or your card is going to cost about $800. And they said, well, what about somebody who might only have one or two employees and they don't want to buy the equipment? Or you can go to a government office to do this. Can you imagine if the post office takes this up and, and you stand in line to take your potential employee over and try to get them scanned? I mean, the whole, the whole notion of uh, us carrying our papers in everything that we do, every job we get, it will be a national identifying card. One thing that uh, Graham, I think, argue, well, we already have social security cards. Right. Well, I have a social security card that says not to be used for identification purposes. That's what the original uh, social security card said. Well, but what about a driver's license? Card. Virtually all of us have one of those. Yeah, but uh, I don't have to have a driver's license to get a job. You know, I didn't have to have it to come to Congress. I didn't have to show that. Well, what about Congressman? You know, the, the people who are fired up about this, yes, they recognize it would result in, in, in somewhat of a loss of civil liberties, but they're very concerned about illegal immigration. And, and you say there are other ways of controlling it, but we're not doing it. Well, that's a failure of enforcing our laws. And uh, one of the problems that we have is that we have a failed economic system that makes uh, immigrants uh, a, a threat to individuals because of our weak economy. So if we had a decent economy, we'd probably be begging for people to come in and work because there would be, and, and quite frankly, a couple of years ago, I had as many people come to my office looking for immrants to come in to work as I did people screaming and hollering because we had too many. What do you think? We were short. What, well, I'm sorry to interrupt. I, I would want to get your thoughts on this before I let you go. W what do you think the government might do to us if we all had a national ID card? Well, they would monitor everything that we do. And uh, surveillance, the lack of privacy, it's always for good purposes. Everything is for good, and they're going to get rid of illegal immigration. They're going to find the criminals. But they're also going to monitor every single person, every single thing they do. It's sort of this idea of why not have cameras every place on every street corner because we'll catch the bad guy. Well, why don't they have cameras in our house in case there's child beating or wife beating? I mean, that's when one thing leads to another. You either believe in freedom or you don't. If you think you need super supervision and surveillance constantly by your government and right now 
the degree of confidence and trust in our government is very, very low. To turn this additional tool over to the government, to me, should outrage the American people. And so far, the people I hear from are outraged. So interesting to listen to your thoughts on that. The meeting happens tomorrow at the White House. The White House has taken no position on it thus far, but Graham's a Republican, Schumer's a Democrat. Uh, we'll see whether they get it through this time. Congressman Ron Paul, thank you so much for your thoughts on it. Thank you. Well, folks.